Hey everybody, so today we're going to be looking at a game that we actually played on stream today as of recording this, and we're looking at the tester. There's a ton of changes, mostly to Unicorn Pack that I've been looking at so far. The main one I'm looking at today is the Abomination. This change is awesome. Instead of a start of battle pets it eats, it'll eat literally anything. And if it has a useful ability, it'll use it. <laughs> and so level 3, you can do some pretty awesome shenanigans, so we're going to check it out. See what you think, let me know. But for now, let's jump right in. Alright, we get the level up. That's great. Hopefully we can find an Alchemedes as well. The Dragonfly is a tier 5 now. And instead of a 1-1, one, one, it's a 4-2. No, no, that seems okay. I definitely want to test the Abomination. Maybe with the Worm of Sand synergy. We go Mana Hound, Worm of Sand. Yeah, I don't understand how, like, practically how the Abomination works now. Like a super funky change. Okay, we're good. We go Brain Cramp Wall Chicken. In some ways, it's kind of sort of like a free little, <laughs> little buff. Alchemedes level is huge. And this is still perkless, right? But it's not ailmentless. The brain cramp could also absorb some, what is his name? Barghest? Some Barghest triggers. So yeah, I want to see the Abomination. Ouroboros, maybe. Oh baby, we're doing it. The brain cramp is cooking out here. Going absolutely insane. Um, let, let's do this. We could run Minotaur. Throw him up front here. Ooh. Do we run Baku? Probably not. I wouldn't go for the Bunyip if we didn't have the guaranteed level up. And make sure you're reading all the abilities, because a lot of them have changed. We could get a Gargoyle cooking, maybe. A Cali Greyhound. And we're good. Love to see it. Give me a good level here. Abomination, we found him. <laughs> I mean, Tiger Bug is just so good here. But do we run Abomination? I'm just so curious what it even does, you know? What the heck even is the Abomination? Okay, start me here. Just to make sure we're not gonna like lose before we can really see the extent of the Abomination. This is kind of a rough team. <laughs> In the sense that it's... It's rough to play against. You know, just a Minotaur with a whole bunch of jumps. Whoa. What the heck was that? Get a little drop down? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. So the next opponent, you can just have this little thing here. That's such a cool change. Oops. Okay, they got a big old Chimera cook in here. It is no match for our homies. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, actually, we can't do anything yet. <laughs> we're gonna wait. What if we get... 
Like, what if we do this? Give you a love potion so that you turn the bunyip into another tiger bug. <laughs> um, seems pretty good. Maybe. Not actually sure. Right now we're just buying time. Waiting for tier 4. Minotaur is solid. Kind of builds we run in here. A lot of mana builds. Whole bunch of them. <laughs> Cracking out here. I love the effect. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Alright, let's make this happen. We go Cyclops. We get the Minotaur. Hmm, Vampire Bat. Generally pretty good. I don't think that's gonna be the play though. There he is. We found one. We got the Abomination. But also run Unicorn. That's also very good. So I think the next one we'd get rid of is probably Suchinoko. We just get rid of you and put a different pet in the front instead of the Minotaur. Ooh, going a little gold build, okay. I see you. I think Minotaur might be too strong. I don't know how you change him to be less strong, but he feels a little too strong. What do we got? Anything good? No. Not really. Maybe hold on to gingerbread. I'm gonna like this. Throw an abomination. So let's see what happens when he eats an Ogopogo. I guess that's a start of battle, so we kinda already know what's gonna happen. So it could just eat anything. It doesn't get stats or anything like that, but it could get like faints, I guess. You could have start of battles, you could have feints, you could have random other abilities, I guess. I don't know. Seems okay. I think really when you get to level 3, that's when it starts getting interesting. Okay, looking good. Just keep looking for the abominations. That's all we need. So at this point, we could run Worm of Sand. And maybe that would be a play here. These two are so good. <laughs> How do you get rid of them? Maybe we don't, maybe we get rid of you. Throw it on you. Chocolate next turn. Yeah, the five instead of six is actually insane. Also, he just ate my brain cramp. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, okay, I forgot that that was a thing that would happen. Well, that's... That would be great if he wasn't already in the front. Because if I had realized, we could have switched it around and that would actually be pretty solid.
Okay, we're good. We're alive. Start me with a level. Team Spirit. That seems pretty good. We also have to keep in mind who the Abomination is going to be eating. So maybe we go ditch the tiger bug. I like the brain cramp here. So we'll keep the rock for the abomination. And then we can roll. Salmon of knowledge doesn't seem great. You go skeleton dog. So I think this is how you do it. You grab these two and you start doing something <laughs> interesting, I guess. I'm not sure. It'd be kind of cool if it gained their stats too. But that'd be a little broken with shop scalers. It'd be kind of fun. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Yes, this is test server. Team spirit level. Hold on. We're ditching Worm of Sand now. We have the most insane build ever coming up. <laughs> So hold on, here's how we have to do it. We have to save the abomination, and then we're just gonna eat whatever is leveled up out of the team spirit. So we can roll a couple of times here. I'll level you. Another team spirit? Is that too much? I guess they're gonna get eaten anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. All right, so you got you. Oh, hold on. Since you ate before the Quetzalcoatl, it actually went off. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm a fan. I like the changes now. <laughs> I officially like the changes. Abomination is goaded. Good thing is Werewolf is not up to snuff quite yet. Run a little frog, homie. A little frog man. So it does activate end turn abilities? Or does it not? I, I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. So let's let's eat you two and then maybe a brain cramp as well. And then we'll throw you up front. Just for now. So does it roll? It does not roll. So it doesn't work for end of turn abilities, but it does work for everything else. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I guess we probably should have put Team Spirit in the front since it's level two. That probably would have been a little better. We're going against another jump build. times have you rolled eight okay okay we're good <laughs> we're alive we're doing it actually we're still at six hearts what the heck hell yeah when did that happen Okay, so Quetzal still just gonna be buffing this brain cramp here. 
Might as well buff you up. I don't mind eating you. What else do we want to eat? You eat it twice. You know, let's check that one out. You eat a pet two times. What happens? Do you get to actually activate it twice? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Probably not. Maybe. Because it wouldn't activate empty front space twice, of course. But... Maybe something like this? Not sure. Um, this is looking a little spooky. This team here. The big mana homies. It did activate twice. We got very lucky with the Kitsune. So that means if the Abomination eats this, these two Sea Serpents, it activates it two times. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we can sell Quetzalcoatl. We can throw in somebody. Hold on to you. Where do we level first? Let's roll. Let's see, Let's see who we can find here. Mana potion's pretty good. Could run a slape near. Maybe. Okay. Slipe near here. We level you. Everyone gets buffed. And then we try to find a what's his name? A sea serpent for the abomination now. Running out of time. We gotta go quick. We're not finding any. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, suddenly you're in front. Alright, we, we have issues. We got a few issues here. I think we may have been okay if we if we didn't accidentally put the Minotaur in the front. Okay. Throw here. Roll me. I'm trying to think who we wanna We could eat a frog, man. It wouldn't be that exciting, but <laughs> we could. The serpent, huge. Into what do we want. None of these are that good. Pixiu is also huge. Then we're spending mana. We don't really want to do that. Does it activate as level three? Because that would be kind of bust. Let's try this. Right here, I know you're going to be eating a Pixiu. I'm curious if it activates as a level 3. No, it doesn't look like it. I think it's just normal. I killed you. Sorry, Brian. It's the first time I've killed anybody today, so... <laughs> I won't feel too bad. Interesting. So it didn't actually activate the Pixie ability. How curious. Alright, we're down to two. Can we clutch it out? Let's find out. Level you. Um, we can go Hydra. We can go Red Dragon. We can go Chimera. Ooh, hold on. That's looking kind of good. Do we just come Peito you? See who we get. Why not? That's not ideal. <laughs> Far from it. I guess we have two summons now, don't we? So which one's gonna prioritize? Hopefully the Chimera, but... <laughs> 
Maybe we should have moved him around a little bit. But you kind of want him up front because that's how the sea serpent hits him. I guess we'll see. Who does it hit? Hmm, Hydra. <laughs> Not ideal. Okay, okay. We're drawing. We're getting some draws out here. Behemoth? Sure. <laughs> you know what? Sure. We'll take it. None of those are gonna cut it. Leipnir is great. We could tiger bug and run it like this. No, we kinda want... No, that's fine. Go like this. Another behemoth. That's not gonna do anything for you. You could phoenix. Maybe rock a phoenix. Maybe we rock a phoenix. Okay. And we're good. Okay, huge. Dude, Abomination feels kind of solid. Feels kind of good over here. Don't want Kraken, probably. Actually, you know, Kraken might be good. <laughs> you think about it? That might not actually be a bad. We can run Sea Serpent here. Like maybe this is the play. Right, because Minotaur is getting a whole bunch of attack anyways. Or a bunch of health. So that'll come back regardless. We can go here. Maybe we can get another mana. We'll try for mana. Actually, this is also good. Get protection on the Minotaur. What kind of protection are we talking here? <laughs> Ambrosia, maybe. Hmm. Are Mr. President still here? Let's see. Hello there, Piper. How are you doing? <laughs> Go outside, Piper. Just got attacked by a dog. And we did it. I don't know if Mr. President was here, we just have like an infinity guess, because we're on the test server, but... <laughs> hey, that went pretty well. The test server is a lot of fun. Especially because I didn't instantly die. <laughs> that was also fun. But hey, it was a good time.